Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be upgrading my AMD system sitting right here. And uh, I'll be replacing the motherboard CPU and RAM. And the motherboard I'm using is this Asus M5A78LMLX. Yeah, I know, right? Um, so basically, this isn't a high performance gaming or PC super enthusiast, whatever, whatever machine. This is just one of my, uh, uh, I don't know, my, my weekend project type of machine. It's one of my AMD systems, or one of my systems that's an AMD uh, processor and motherboard. Um, so uh, I recently uh, was going to build a new system, and I was going to build a new AMD system, but then... Uh, Intel came out with some new chipset, and then I just actually went to AM, uh, Intel. But, still gonna upgrade, still gonna use uh, some AMD stuff. And so basically, the reason why I got this particular motherboard is because it's AM3 Plus ready. So it supports AM3 Plus uh, processors. It's an actual AM3 Plus socket. It's not an AM3, right, which is what's common right now, AM3. Um, with a modified BIOS, you can make it an AM3 Plus, certain motherboards. No, this is actually an AM3 Plus socket, right? And I'll show you uh, what I mean by that, by the actual, showing you the actual socket. Um, so yeah, I picked up this uh, Asus motherboard uh, from Newegg. It was 65 bucks plus shipping and tax. Came out to about a little under $80, $80 right? Uh, it's a... Uh, Mini ATX, so it's a great uh, motherboard, great uh, budget conscious, budget friendly motherboard. That's why I wanted to get it. But uh, some of the specs here include uh, EPU, energy processing unit, which manages the power. It's very good on power. I like that. Um, anti surge, I don't know, uh, I guess in case your power supply goes crazy, it protects your computer that way. Um, Easy flash, flashing the BIOS uh, via USB. Put a USB, put your flash uh, BIOS on the USB, and you'll be able to do that um, very easily. And then there's some called BIOS CPR. If you are overclocking and you mess something up, press a button, and uh, it resets everything magically, right? And then core unlocker. That's a neat feature. It's for uh, those X3 type uh, processors. Um, because those X3 processors are really uh, quad-core processors. They're really X4 processors, but one of the processors kind of broke or something happened or it didn't pass quality uh, controls. So uh, they disable a core, and a core unlocker will enable that core. That doesn't work all the time with all, all X3 processors. It only works sometimes, right? And then uh, turbo key... That's just uh, one button easy overclocking type stuff. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything else is straightforward. Gigabit LAN. Uh, there is uh, one PCI Express slot, 16 speed. Two PCI uh, Express slot, one speed. They're the two little ones here. And one PCI, uh, one PCI slot, six three gigabits. There's no uh, six gigabit uh, SATA ports on here, but that's fine. I don't plan on plugging anything faster than a three gigabit uh, hard drive, gigabit LAN, built-in audio, yada yada. It is the AMD 760G, not a very flashy uh, chipset, right? It's one of the lower end ones, um, but like I said, I, I'm not really going to be pushing this or utilizing all kinds of high performance PC enthusiast type features on this motherboard um, but I will talk a little bit about the AM3 Plus this particular socket is capable of handling uh, AM3 processors right now um, one of those processors being the six core processors which is what I have here right this is AMD's X6 1090T uh, six core processors not the best one that they have right now, but it's one of them I think they have like three or four 
but uh, the T means the multiplier is unlocked. I'll get a little into that a little later. But uh, this processor is capable of going into this motherboard now, but in the future, uh, actually later on this year, Q3 of 2011, um, AMD is going to release the Bulldozer processors and then the Lanos, I think after that, or Bulldozer and Lanos, I'm not sure. But um, the Bulldozer processors will be able to go into this motherboard because it's AMD, AM3 Plus uh, compatible. So it's great for right now um, with the AM3 processors that I have. But then next year, uh, I'll jump into the Bulldozer and Lanos. And those processors are actually going to be 8 cores, which is pretty amazing. 8 cores. 8 physical cores. And then they're going to get into the whole uh, APU or GPU, CPU combo all into one. And it's going to be pretty amazing. Um, and it'll be able to go into this motherboard. So I don't have to keep upgrading the motherboard and whatnot. And then um, a little bit about the RAM, standard DDR3, uh, G-Skill Ripjaw. So uh, this motherboard, like I said, from Newegg was 80 bucks shipped. This uh, 4 gigs, is it? Yeah, 4 gigs of Ripjaw memory, uh, single module. I didn't really want to spring for an extra one. Um, this was 40 bucks from Newegg. And then this particular processor I got, it was on sale at uh, Tiger Direct, and I got a good price on it. It was $180, but here's the thing. I got this like two months ago, over two months ago, and I don't recommend doing that. If you're going to buy all this stuff, all this upgrading stuff, uh, have all the money ready, and then buy everything within the month right so you don't want to buy something now and then buy piece by piece and then um two months later you got a whole system well in those two months you could have gotten cheaper uh prices the prices would have been cheaper or you could have gotten better stuff new stuff would have come out for the same price that you paid for the stuff that you sit, sat on for a whole a whole two months right but this i got for 180 dollars the six core processor was 180 bucks. Right now, uh, you can get it for about 190. Um, so I'm, I'm still pretty good on that. But I don't recommend you doing that. You know, sitting on parts, uh, just letting it sit there, not you uh, doing anything with it. While on the market, the price goes down. At the time, this processor was 200 bucks. That was the price of it, brand new when it was released. Actually, it was like 220. Um, and then it just kept going down and kept going down and and but I saw it online for 180 I'm like ooh that's a good price it'll probably stay like that a good price for a long time so um, all in all everything here was a pretty good deal I'm gonna be utilizing everything um, else that's in the system here and I just want to talk about what's in here now so what we have in here now is the uh, motherboard which I'll be taking out, the cooling system, uh, graphics card, uh, RAM. I'll actually be taking all that out, replacing it. Oh, uh, uh, not the cooling system, I'm gonna keep that. But the first thing I need to take out is this cooling system, then I'll take out the graphics card, unplug everything, take out the motherboard, prepare the next motherboard, drop everything in, and plug everything back in reverse. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm keeping power supply. It's a 500 watt power supply. It's good enough. I'm actually going to replace the graphics card later. I got that coming in the mail. I'm. This is the 50, 5650, I think. Yeah. And I'll replace it and I'll put the... Uh, I just bought the 5770 from Amazon for 100 bucks, Right? Um, so I'm going to put that in there. Uh, but that's going to be later. So I'm going to get started on this. But I have plenty of other videos of me building systems. And I don't need... I mean, you don't need to watch me build this system for the next 30 minutes. So what I'll do is I'll leave this recording. But I'm going to time lapse it. So it's just going to speed up super fast. 
starting now. Actually, after I get my uh, screwdriver.
All right, so I just finished upgrading my AMD system here, and one thing you should always do is wear an anti-static strap uh, to ground yourself to the chassis. I was not wearing one during this build. It's very risky. I do not advise building or upgrading a computer uh, because you could have static discharge and you could ruin your sensitive electronics with it, so always wear an anti-static strap. Mine was at home. I didn't have one, but... Uh, I had to take the risk. I constantly would touch the um, the chassis so that I could dissipate any electricity that was in me. So um, that helps, but it's not always the best solution. Anyways, I'm about to fire this up now and go into the BIOS. Um, one thing too that you should always remember is reset the BIOS. Um, look in your manual where the jumper is to reset the BIOS on this particular motherboard it's behind the graphics card here right next to the battery usually it's typically around where the battery is at so it's a jumper that you have to take out and set the jumper turn it on power it on and then uh, turn it all off unplug the power put the jumper back and then plug in the um, power and boot it up again because when they set this up when they configure everything they probably use some CPU um, whatever that they had around and graphics card to test everything so the settings are probably saved in there you want to reset everything so that it picks up your hardware and then you can uh, boot it up so now I'm gonna fire this up go into the BIOS I'm going to press delete. There we go. Um, oh, the date and time is not set, so I'm going to press F1 to run the setup. But uh, I'm actually just going to go take a look at the system information. Yep, there we got it. AMD Phenom. 2 x6 1090t processor 3200 megahertz or 3.2 gigahertz and uh, 4 gigs of installed memory all right um, this machine for now is actually going to become a uh, VMware server uh, for a class project and uh, after that I'll probably do a dual boot with uh, some Windows and Linux possibly all right, cool. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Johnny the Geek out. Peace. All right, so uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about earlier, I mentioned uh, that this was a socket AM3 Plus, and you can tell that by the uh, black socket here. So the other ones previously were white, and now all the AM3 sockets are uh, going to be black or I'm sorry, AM3 Plus sockets are going to be black. All the AM3 sockets right now are white. AM3 Plus going to be black.